Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Louise Savage of Louise Savage Muses. Welcome back if you've joined before and a very warm welcome if you're new to the channel. Um, it's a very lovely day today because I have with me my wonderful son at Savage Reads, <laughs> aka Simon Savage. <laughs> at Savage Reads. How are you Simon? I'm good thank you, I'm absolutely delightful. We just spent two days together. <laughs> so no, 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 24 hours. 24 hours. <laughs> Feels like two months, um, but we know we've had a really well, lovely time. We've got time. five days coming. That's going to be interesting. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting. Anyway, sorry. I think we'll still be speaking at the end. Anyway, um, so we are as part of our celebration, which we like to do every year, of the Women's Prize, and we try to sort of mix and match and do some new things each year. And um, we decided that we would do a kind of parallel read of some of the um, books Ooh, on the. I like that term, parallel Thank read. You. I haven't used that. I really like Thank that. I'm going to use that in future. Um, of some of the books on the uh, Women's Prize long list um, and you lovely people um, out on the in the ether um, you voted didn't you um, for the books that you wanted us to parallel read because we've so, done Barbara King's over on my channel yeah and because that was a big old chunker we thought we'd do two on mum's channel yeah so um, we have done well we haven't yet no Sorry, we are about to do, <laughs> I haven't even started reading this one yet. Um, the Bandit Queens by Perini Shroff. And also try and sort of predict a little bit what we feel the other will be making of the books yes. as they read them. Well, I've got this gorgeous tome. Tome is a bit harsh, it's not quite tomish. Um, love the cover, by the way. It's really grabby, isn't it? Um, and also the title, The Bandit Queens. I'm about to start reading it. I know almost nothing about it. Um, I think it might be set in India. I know that it's about a widow who, um, who everyone thinks has killed her husband, but I'm not sure, I don't think she has. Um, uh, but that's about all I know. I love the title Bandit Queens, that really attracts my attention. Who doesn't like a bandit? Um, I'm getting the idea from the blurb on the back that it's got thriller vibes, that it might be quite funny, uh, pacey, um, which is probably exactly what I need, the antidote to um, black butterflies. I mean that in the nicest possible way. Anyway, I'm going to get reading. Let's see how um, how I get on. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You find me in bed at 8 30 on a sunday evening because i am feeling a little worse for wear so normally i'd be staying up wanting to make sunday last but I'm slightly smug i'm off for the next two days so i don't need to but i want to just chill and rest but i thought as a treat i would start the bandit queens by perini shroff and i think the fact that i say this is a treat gives you an idea of my preconceptions Thank you, Cindy, for that word in one of my comments recently, or in a comment on one of my blogs recently, um, that I think this is going to be good fun. Now, when I said that in previous videos, because it's about a woman who is rumoured to have killed her husband and people kind of leave her alone because of it until other women start to come to say, uh, could you help me out of my awful situation with my husband? That to me sounds really gripping and quite dark and... Uh, page turning and all those kind of things that I love instantly people are like uh, it's not that much fun Simon actually there's some really serious stuff that goes on I think books can be both and I think actually the best books can be both so I'm putting that pressure in my preconceptions of this book because I think it's going to like I say be darkly gripping darkly delicious possibly quite troubling but rightly so and a page turner all at once. I'll report back when I've read 50 pages of it, either later on or in the morning. Um, I think my mum is quite excited for this one too. I think we both were quite taken with the blurb that we kind of skimmed over when we found out what the longlisted books were for the Women's Prize. So um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. My prediction of her preconceptions are all the prep words. So I've just finished the first 60 or so pages of um, the Bandit Queens. 
absolutely loving it. It's um, very lively, um, very witty. I feel as though I already uh, am really getting to know Gita, the, the lead character, the widow. Um, she's got a load of acquaintances, I won't say friends. Um, so I've kind of been introduced to three or four of the women in the village. I did, I did get them a little bit muddled to start with, but it's fine now. Um, and, oh, I ju I'm just really impressed with the way that, um, the women are all really brought to life and the dialogue's really good. It's, it's, um, it's pacey and, um, I'm loving the sort of descriptions of Gita's home and um her relationship with the the local supplier of illegal booze um so yeah it's just so far you know really fun um however it's also really exploring the stigma of um being a widow the stigma of not having children um within um i presume indian village society uh, and culture so that's that's really interesting um yeah i'm having a blast i think simon will really enjoy it um i could be wrong but i think it there's a kind of wryness to it that i think he'll really really like anyway i can't talk because i need to go back to it <laughs> um anyway yeah hopefully speak to you when i've read a bit more hey up everyone i am now 63 pages into the bandit queens I know that's more than 50 pages, however, I couldn't put it down, which will give you a mild hint as to how I'm feeling about this book, which is hooked, gripped, and absolutely blinking, loving it. So the story so far is about Gita, who is a 35-year-old woman living in a village where people believe that she offed or killed her husband. And it's made her kind of ostracised and an outsider within a place that she's lived for such a long time. However, she embraces the fear that she creates in people, which is really, really interesting because it gives her freedom to some extent. However, she's in a... a sort of lone group with some other women one of whom Saloni was one of her friends and now she thinks is an absolute cow and it's interesting to get a bit of insight into how that happened but we also learn about her husband Ramesh who was abusive towards her which the other women know but because of him disappearing they kind of don't side with her it's more that they side with those who ostracize her and except for one woman Farah who she's stuck up for and who now wants her to help kill her husband because she, like everyone, believes that she killed her husband, Gita killed her husband. Um, and, oh, sorry, Mia. Um, what I'm loving is the way that Perini Shroff is combining a really dark subject matter with dark humour, which works in a brilliant way. And not everyone could get away with that, but she very much is so far. Gita as a character is just fantastic because she is snarky, she is wry, she doesn't suffer fools gladly and I really love that about her. She's not your typical sort of heroine narrator and I'm really interested in how she's, she has heard of the legend of the Bandit Queen and is now like the Bandit Queen wouldn't do this and the Bandit Queen wouldn't do that so she started to behave that way and yeah it's just brilliant so far I'm absolutely loving it completely lost in it and engrossed and frankly didn't really want to film this and stop reading it. I just wanted to carry on which is what I'm going to do shortly and report back when I'm about halfway um what do I think mum will be thinking I think mum will be really really enjoying this one too I think she will like the setting I think she'll like Gita as a character and I think she'll be intrigued to see what's going to happen um and probably like the the dark sense of humor to it too so that is my thoughts at well I was going to say 50 pages in, but 63 pages in. And um, yeah, I shall have more thoughts about halfway through. So I'm just over halfway through Bandit Queens. Um, still really enjoying it, um, reading it at pace. Um, I'm loving the take on loneliness um, and the poignancy of that. Um, I'm still finding it very funny. Lots of uh, very simple and very human misunderstandings. 
Um, I'm loving the developing relationship between Gita and her dog and um, and the way she acquires it I thought was brilliant. Um, I am finding the dialogue sticking with me a bit. Sometimes it does the the voices seem to change a bit and become more sort of westernized and then slip back. Um, that may just be me, I don't know. Um, so I've found that a little bit irritating at times. Um, I love the whole sort of take on female friendship as well and misunderstanding. Um, it's so easy to to think you're an outsider and to, to sort of think that um, people feel negatively towards you. And yet it may just be the way that you're reacting. Um, I suppose in a sense it's the idea that you choose your own look in a way. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I'm also enjoying the part that all the children play um, and the way that you can see the kind of um, misunderstandings that the adults have kind of played out amongst the children. Um, I think Simon will be really enjoying all of that. I think it's a very sort of lively novel. There's a lot to, to sort of think about and um, I think that will suit him. Uh, but we shall see. Hey up everyone, I am now over halfway through The Bandit Queens by Perini Shroff and I'm still absolutely loving it. I am actually almost 200 pages through, so only 100 and... only 100 or so to go. Um, it's actually just taken and the reason I read on a little bit longer past where I should have is partly because I'm addicted but also it's got significantly darker with an incident that's happened. I don't want to spoil anything for anyone. And actually, that's what's making it really hard to do catch-ups on this book, apart from the fact that I also just want to sit and literally devour it because I am gripped by it. I just find Gita such a fascinating character and what has changed a little is we very much hear from her what people think of her um, and we're kind of just getting it from what she feels is implied or how people have behaved since her husband, well, they believe was murdered, but she says vanished. And it's how um, she will often sort of, how can I put it? If someone talks to her in a positive way, she will reflect it back on herself in a negative way, which is really interesting. The way it looks at friendship and communication and miscommunication in this is really, really interesting. And how sometimes we, Feel we've been pushed out but actually we pushed ourselves out of scenarios um, there are some wicked twists and turns and I say that with a smile because there's just been some brilliant stuff again that I can't spoil which I think mum would have really enjoyed what I also think Perini Shroff does incredibly well is there's a fine line between something being a bit of a cliche or schmaltzy or being a bit of a trope and she toys with these tropes but they don't feel cliche or, sh or schmaltzy they feel quite fresh and, and fun and I really like that about it it'll be interesting to see how mum feels about that again sorry because I'm being quite vague about that the other thing that I think mum will really be loving that I'm really loving is all of the folklore and sort of rituals of India that are threaded through everything that's going on. It might be certain uh, customs at dinner, it might be certain myths or legends about, um, well, people believe that Gita, or some people believe that Gita is a witch, so there's a whole thing around that. And again, that's where she uses this sort of fear that she's created as freedom because, you know, yeah, And but also it's very much about I think um, her own self-worth and the questions around, oh, there's just so much in here and I am genuinely, absolutely loving it. I think this could be one of my favourite books of the year. That said, I've got another half of it to go, so we'll see. But well, no, I've got another like 110, 15 pages to go. Um, and then I shall report back. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I hope mum's really, I hope mum's really enjoying it. Yeah, I hope mum is really enjoying it and I'll be intrigued to see what her thoughts are. Um, I love the way it looked at desire as well. That's been something that's been done really interestingly, which could, that is kind of the area where it could be a bit cliched or small, 
schmaltzy or um, what's the word? A bit sort of all right, but it's not at all, and I love that. So yeah, I'm just I'm really really enjoying it, and I hope Mum is, and if she's not, well, I'll be having words. Well, <laughs> I'm just in shock, really. Uh, I've just reached chapter twenty three. Um, the last sort of 100 pages have been amazing. Um, really, really enjoyed it. We've had uh, a horrendous rape scene. Um, we've had a, an extraordinary murder. Um, I'm loving the way the relationships between the women are developing or we're, we're, we're understanding them more as the novel progresses. Um, I really like the relationship between Gita and Saloni. I think that's fabulous. You know, now we're learning more about their past friendship and um, understanding a bit better the tensions within their friendship. Um, I'm trying not to give spoilers, <laughs> trying really hard. Um, there's been the most superb interrogation scene um, at the police station, which had me in stitches as I was reading it. But interestingly, Amid all of that, I mean, there's been there's been real drama, real tension, real horror, um, but also the novel has started to really punch its themes home, I suppose. So um, issues of caste and class in India are really coming to the fore. Um, issues of sort of isolation and loneliness presented really really well and I love the way you know I'm really really loving Geeta's character because the novel does really centre on her and um, lots and lots of different challenges she faces and also the whole sort of the, the rumour mill and the speculation and the way these women seem to spend half their lives avoiding drawing attention to themselves in in the village, you know, and yet the minute anything happens, the whole village knows about it. Um, and just at the end of chapter 22, I had the most fantastic plot twist, which I wasn't expecting, because the writing had just seduced me away from any possibility that what's just happened was going to happen so um i've got to go off and do some gardening now but what i really want to be doing is sitting reading the rest of this i'm hoping i'll finish it this evening because i am just absolutely thoroughly enjoying this book um yeah there we go morning everyone i have finished the bandit queens I got to a really good twisty bit before bed. I was like, oh, I could read on, I could read on. I was like, no, I'm going to go to sleep and savour that for the morning. And I did. And I thought it was great. One thing that I meant to say that has come more to the fore or comes more to the fore as the book goes on is how it looks at caste in Indian society. And I thought that was really, really interesting. And I felt like I got a real insight to it. Also, having checked the author's note at the end, the Bandit Queen was a real woman in history, and I'm now really keen to go and read more about her. But back to the actual story, I thought the ending was brill. I thought the way it all came together was good. There was a lot of dialogue at the end. I won't spoil any more than that, but that was a little bit confusing in parts however I just thought this book was so good and I just I loved the way it looked at what people believe makes a witch that really really got to me and witch fic or witch lit or witchature or whatever it's called is um, quite big at the moment and this has elements of witchiness in it and what people superstitious about I can't say that word what people are superstitious about in terms of witches so yeah thought it was fab hope mum will have I'm be interested to hear what she thinks of the ending obviously without spoilers um because it is quite like full-on and twisty and a little bit there's a lot of dialogue and a lot of characters suddenly and oh uh, but I did overall get what was going on um, well, I think I got what was going on. I believe I got what was going on and enjoyed it immensely. So, yeah, that is a corker. 
a definite, definite corker and um, may end up being one of my books of the year. We'll see. I've said too much. I'll be fascinated to see what mum thinks when... Oh, that was my over-effusive uh, uh, toilet that when it fills makes a real squeak. Anyway, moving on from that. Um, yeah, I really, really, really enjoyed that. And um, I hope mum did too. I think it just, it gets the balance of being a literary novel and also being kind of a thriller and being a book with dark themes but dark humour and great characters and propulsiveness to it. It just, yeah, it ticks all the boxes for me. So there we are. I'm going to shut up now because it's been quite long. Uh, but yeah, hope you've enjoyed these little snippets and I'll leave mum to uh, wrap everything up. So, um, I finally finished Bandit Queens. I'm feeling quite bereft. Um, the ending did not disappoint at all. Um, everything sort of, knots were all tied and uh, I found the ending very satisfying. Um, I think it'd make an amazing film or TV series, to be honest. Um, I loved the weaving in of um, myth and um, the story of Ram and Sita and um, also the, the whole Bandit Queen um, story. I uh, hadn't realised that she had really existed, so that was really interesting. Um, so I loved the way that... Um, Perini, I think it's Perini, I'm just looking down because I've got my copy, yeah, Perini Shroff dealt with um, with that whole um, sort of delving into a, a, a real figure from history. Um, I thought that was fascinating. Um, yeah, and I loved the themes of the novel. Uh, I thought it, it was about, you know, very much about women and about friendship and loyalties and disloyalties and I thought she captured the ins and outs of female friendship, the bickering, the falling out, the jealousies. Um, I think she did that really successfully. I think Simon will really have loved this book, I could be totally wrong, um, but my feeling is he'll, he'll have really enjoyed all of that. You do feel very much like a fly on the wall a lot of the time. Um, in their homes and um yeah a wonderful really really enjoyable book and again another one that i may not i don't know the title might have grabbed me if i'd seen it in a bookshop to be honest but i might never have come to read it if it hadn't have been for the wonderful glorious women's prize for fiction so there we go see you soon bye I, I, I watched it on my phone. No, I'll send you it. Will you? Yeah. Okay. So, well, I might as well be here for 75 <laughs> years. <laughs> my name's Louise Savage. Welcome to my channel, Louise Savage Muses. Did you and... say that? Yeah. Uh, Shall I start again? Oh, God. Right. I'm just going to suck lemons for a minute.